Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. It is another beautiful day here on Funland, and we have the new update information coming out, and I thought with that being put out there, it's time to make a temporary house for Brewster, so that's what we're going to do today. But before we get started, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Now let's get to work. All right, prepping the area. This isn't going to be an overly extensive build where we need to put up cliffs and we need to dig things out. Basically, we're just moving around trees and trying to make a little area because we're going to use that little outstretch of land and we're going to make an outdoor roost for Brewster. So a little outdoor temporary coffee, coffee shop, if I could speak was my plan for this keeping it really natural and with if anybody saw the update our update and i'm sure you have you saw what the inside of the roost kind of looks like and it's kind of got that mermaid scalpy pattern on it and i i wanted to continue that outside and create a really neat outside coffee shop for brewster until he comes within the next couple of weeks which i am super excited for but that was my plan for today. Make a cute little spot outside for him. Trying to keep it like it would be if it was inside, but outside. So an indoor outdoor coffee shop. So right now it's just a lot of customizing, seeing how big we want it. It's one of those things I wasn't quite sure of. I want to be able to still get past it if I need to, but I want it big enough that it takes up that little area quick trip to fill up my pockets. I didn't have enough room when I originally started. And with this particular build, it's kind of, I had an idea in my head of what direction I wanted to go with it, obviously. And then it kept taking a different direction as you'll see as this progresses. But right now we are just adding a few more things customizing a few more panels, starting to get the look of the coffee shop going. Of course, I had to put light posts in because it's me and I'm obsessed with lighting, especially at night. And oh, if you watched the Nintendo Direct update, you saw the new lamp posts that are coming. I could not be more excited about that. We are going to have the lampposts that kind of dip down. I am super, super excited about all the changes that are coming. All the new items that we're going to get to use. All the new characters. I mean, this is, I am beyond excited. But as I've never seen the roost before in Brewster, I'm pretty excited about that. I know that's only one of about a million things that are going to be changing, but I'm really, really, really quite excited for it. So again, that's what today's theme's all about. Temporary home for Brewster. Here we are doing our chairs and tables. I didn't want too, too many. I didn't want it to be overly cluttered, but obviously we need chairs and tables. It's a coffee shop. Had to stop and check my balloon because of course it's still spooky season, even though this isn't a spooky build and I'm still looking to get all these spooky DIYs. We got one there, so I'm excited. All right, grabbing more of our items to put down. Cypress plants. I was hoping to be able to put more of the cedar trees, but I just didn't have the space, so I figured I'd fill up the space with cypress plants. It kind of works the same, and it looks really, really nice. Back up to the house. Like I said, I've never been more indecisive in a build. Ever. Every time I would start something, I would think to myself, oh, I can change it and I can add this or I can add that and I need this to put on a table. So definitely a lot of back and forth and in and out of the house for this one. But that's all right. That's the fun of this game. It's thinking of the items that we have. How can we use them? Decided to make a change there already. I didn't like the candles on the garden stand. I liked the candles on the tables. I thought it looked much nicer. So making changes there already. 
Now we're crafting some wooden stools. There wasn't a lot, like I said, of actual crafting that was going on here. Definitely some customizing, but as far as crafting, pretty much had everything that we needed already in storage from previous builds, from previous buys, just collecting in general. Here comes more of that indecisiveness. I decided we needed some sort of path work. It was just looking too green. I wanted a little path, so here we are filling or taking down everything that we had just put up, putting down more path so that we can then put back the items that we took down. And again, it's not obviously an intricate path, pretty simple path. Just enough to take up some space and it, it breaks everything up and I think in the end it looks really really good and another trip back to the house cuz I am the most indecisive person all right tidying up a few things so that we have room in our pockets I was gonna use the turkey day stands I really really like them but I went against it and thought that we could use floor lights instead and more panels to make it look a little bigger and wider so that's what we are doing just again making room in my pocket so getting rid of some of the trees that i thought we could use and back to customizing more panels because it just it's too open in the back for me and I love the look that we are creating, but I wanted it to be bigger and more, more realistic is the word I'm looking for. So adding more panels, taking down and putting back up everything that we had already done, because why not? Now with this one, the one panel is kind of not on point with the rest of them but it ends up working out in the long run it looks good and it actually gives it a little bit of depth now we're putting back up our street lights and see we went against the uh turkey day stands with this one but you can see already it looks bigger it looks more like the actual wall like there's doors to come in i thought it looked really good we put brewster back there i love that i love and appreciate everybody that's on this game that has artistic ability because I do not and I think it's amazing when people share stuff like that because well I still would have done the same build regardless of a temporary place for a Brewster it's awesome to have a little Brewster there he's just so cute all right so back to decorating things the way we had adding some floor lights so we have some light adding more plants because why not the phone box was just one of those I'm gonna add it in because I thought it looked really cute and why not I had it in the storage now we're adding these stools one on the end it just kept kicking them off the front because again we're working and working on a very thin spot so space is very limited back to the store I needed a few more customizing kits because I again had another idea while I'm doing this what can I add what can I add something it was missing something so I was trying to think what we could put in and then I had the brilliant idea pipe organs I grabbed three to customize dark brown because I thought we could use them behind and it's gonna create almost that ceiling wall look but as you can see, as we go to place it, again, space in the area that I decided to do the build is at a premium and we were only able to get one up, but it actually made all the difference in the world. As you can see, it is really, really created an amazing space. Once we tilt up, you'll see it. It looks just like, like the ceiling or a big back wall. I think it really pulls everything together. There you go. 
there for a super simple, simple build. It was a lot of back and forth and indecisiveness, but it wound up turning out really, really cute and I was really happy with it. I want to thank you guys though for coming along and building this with me, for liking and subscribing, and we will definitely be back with more.